Hello everyone, my name is Kep and welcome back to the channel. We're on day two of our joke mod playthrough. Let's see, organize the inventory a little bit by throwing it in a chest over here. I made myself an iron spear, a rusty iron spear. Uh, cooked some water, I made a little bit of charred meat, so we have at least a little bit of food. Um, one of the things I have to get is paper and paint, so I was going to wait to do it just in case it didn't work out. But see, you can see if I scrap this... Okay, so that gave me all the paint I need. I was kind of wondering if it would. So now I just got to gather some paper, which realistically should be pretty simple. Uh, yeah, realistically, you'd think it would be pretty simple. So I basically just got to find some things to tear apart. I think you just get, you don't get, oh, you do get paper, a little bit of paper from breaking up trash. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that then. It won't take us near as long to get what we need. We can make a hazmat sheet. I don't exactly know what that does for us. Do we get paper for that? We do. Nice. Okay, so we just got to break everything down. I was kind of curious as if it would work or not, but I didn't want to do it. Uh, let me see. I think you just give us wood. Yeah, a little bit of cloth. Okay. So, we need to have a slightly better day than we did yesterday. Now, while yesterday was incredibly fun, we did die a couple times. So, hang on. Let me see what's in here quick. I didn't get you. A little bit of free wood. Go ahead and grab you. Nice. Okay, so we can craft a safety sign. The only thing we get for it is that we get to, uh, what do you, what, what do you do anyway? This block can be placed was mostly decorative value. Mostly. They mostly come out at night. All right. So if nothing else, we get a little bit of the experience for her. So let me, how about I put you outside? Like right there. We have gone seven days. Advanced survival 110. Craft place, workplace, hazard sheet. Now you need me to gather lanterns for the traders. Hey, I have one in here. Let's see, where are you? I don't need paint on me anymore. Nails, I hang on to you and you. I don't need there. One lantern. Okay, so at least I can take the lantern. So I need to keep Let an eye. Visit for a while. Uh, let's not. Ooh, BDU tops. Okay, so you're a 7 and 8.5, 7 and 2, 8, 6. Let's go ahead and wear you. Uh, keep get rid of that here, and I'll just scrap. You know what? Hang on, just in case. I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna need any more paint. Uh, I know in Darkness Falls, the pink dye is worth like a ridiculous amount of money. Let's see, I'm wanting to see if I can get in and loot what's more behind you here. Uh, come on, I know I can reach that, right? Let me, let me hang on. Can I can I get in this way? Maybe. I didn't ever try this. Let's see here. That's going to take a little while. All right. How about we worry about trying to break into his place here in just a little bit? We need to find ourselves a place to call at least a temporary base. We've got to gather some more lanterns, so I need to keep an eye out for them. Aldo's cabinets could have some. Let's see. The junkyard. We died over here once. <laughs> not, we didn't really. Oh, yeah. That's where that stupid cat is at. Let's, let's not go in there. Let's see. How about a working stiff tools? We can handle that, right? <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. Oh man, I'm having an absolutely fantastic time with this. The silliness of it. And also, uh, a hole. Uh, that's. Oh, it's a Is goose. That a fucking goose. <laughs> Canada gooses. Let's see if there's anything in the SUV here. <laughs> I love the art style that's used for these. Nice, some more glue. There was something I was looking at that I needed glue for, but I can't remember what it is now. Uh, hang on. I was looking through all the different recipes of stuff I could build, and I don't remember. There was something. I no. Are you about to start? You know, I'm not going to start some crap with you. The last one of your kin that came flying up at me here uh, didn't. It almost didn't go well for me. <laughs> Man, I can't. I, I'm just. Almost at a loss for words. Nice more nails. Let me see. Iron arrowheads are okay. They're okay. I'll take those. Wait, what is this? Rock candy? Yeah. When, when, where did I get that? I, I don't even know where I got that. I'm leaving the fishing weights behind. I don't need those right at the moment. Okay, this place. Uh, I see a dude right up there. Let's see if we can't get a little bit of sneak damage on him before he falls down here. I'm going to guess probably not, but we'll maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, we'll do a little bit of sneak damage. Come on down, dude. Biff! And... Hello? It looks like Gary over there. Okay, come on, dude. Uh, anybody else up there with you? Ew, he went all squishy on me. 
See if there's any money in these registers. ka -ching. Nice. There is a little bit of money in these registers. I heard that goose out there again. Come on down, Owen. Get my arrow back. That sounded like something was running at me. I, I still don't feel like I have seen everything that there is to see as far as enemies in this game yet. So I'm... So Oh, yeah, that's a goose. I think the goose is what's cussing at me here. Okay, keep an eye on things. How do we lose one point of damage? Do we step on something sharp? Okay. I'm kind of nervous about that goose there. He seems to be having some serious problems with my being in here. Maybe this is his store. I, I, I don't know. I, maybe, maybe I'm encroaching in his territory. He is a goose, after all. They do. They are a little bit territorial and kind of mean. Nice. That's all good stuff. This is absolutely worth looting. This. I get it. I get it. Okay, so apparently this game is going to be slightly less family friendly than what you're used to for cat videos here, since the goose likes to cuss at me. Hello. Oh yeah, that sounds like Lois. Let's go say hi. That ain't Lois. That's Marlene. What's you doing, girl? Besides breaking and entering. You better watch out. The goose is right over there, and he's kind of pissy today. Wasn't me. All right, let's finish looting this place. Stop it. Let's finish looting this place, see if we can find something useful here. Well, that's interesting. After you loot a toilet, it just freaking explodes. Okay, sounds like there's a decent chunk of zombies right on the other side of that door. So I'm just in here to bash some toilets in right at the moment. Eh, might as well. Break some crappers, get the experience. Let's hope and find something good, but it sounds like there's a decent chunk coming in over there, so we need to loot as much as we can before they get in here, just in case we end up having to abandon this area for a little bit. Some more lock picks, it's not horrible. If I recall, I think there's somebody in the ceiling right up there. Right up there. Yeah, that looks like a spot to break apart some things or some fall apart things. All right, no. Well, let's keep trying to loot some stuff here. I did want to look to see about making, like, a pipe something? A pipe weapon? Hang on. Okay, so what? That's I think that's what I was looking at here as far as, like, pipe weapons here. We can pay, make a pipe machine gun because we do have a level seven, a little bit of 7.62 ammo. Uh, I think that's probably where we should go for it. Um, can't make a pipe baton. you got to have a little bit more leather. I think I have some there. I think I want to make one of these. I'm going to make one. What's the worst that could happen? I, it suck and I die? <laughs> and we already did that. Get that first death over with very early on and you don't have to worry about it, right? Nice. More lockpicks. Uh, don't scream at me. Did y'all figure out how to get inside? I see a clown. All right, let's see how well this spear works. Oh, crap. Okay, hang on. It's all rainy. Uh, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. You are moist. <laughs> well, for anybody that doesn't like that word, prepare, because apparently it's going to be used a lot. Okay, so she didn't die. This doesn't really do that much damage. God. I keep hearing that goose talking over there, and I keep thinking something's coming up at me here. Okay. Yeah, I'll just kind of back up a little bit here. Oh, crap, we missed. Okay, go ahead and reload your pistol. There you go. I'm really hoping when we get through this place over here that we can um, find some good loot in there. Get to the main loot. Maybe we can find an actual decent weapon. Okay, let's see if we can't use a little bit of pew on him. Let's see, 208, 168. So it does 40 damage. That's not too bad. Uh, what about the spear? Let's see. That does a whole not much damage. Maybe we can do like... Biff, you're a narwhal. Even that didn't do that much damage. I made one because I was needing it. <laughs> hey, man. Bozo? Lieutenant Dan, you're going to have to wait your turn, man. <laughs> He's got the honkies. Honka, honka. 1,500 experience for that. That's lovely. Oh, hang on. Hang on just a second there. Hang on, Bozo. 
How many of you people watching, leave in the comments, but how many of you are old enough to remember Bozo and his lovely assistant, Cookie? You used to watch the Bozo show. It came on very early in the morning. I think it was like WGN over here in the States. Anybody remember that? I remember that. I watched that in the mornings. So I'd have some breakfast, watch some Bozo in the morning. It's good times. It's good times. What are you? Eggplant seeds? I don't need eggplant seeds right now. We're not to the point where we're going to have to worry about doing some growing of stuff. And that goose is... He's got my number, man. I think I have most everything in the store looted. It, and like, as far as like the first part here. Let me bust out the torch. Because I know it's dark as balls in here. And you guys can't really see much. All right, come on down. I knew it was you. Let's see if we set you on fire. That does a little bit of damage over time, so it's kind of nice. See, that's one thing about the torches. It works pretty good for a melee. It does about 20, 25 damage. It has a chance to set them on fire, and there's no durability. Now, you can't power attack with it, so... Eh, it uses some stamina like normal, but it's not too bad. If you absolutely have to have a melee weapon, it gives it to you... Whoa! Canned sham chowder. That's pretty awesome. Canned meat stew. What do we have here? Rizzo health bars. Makes you tough, but also a bit confused. Could be fun. And sound offs. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Crafted in the microwave. Another fine Rizzo product. Makes you tough, but a bit confused. These don't really help out too much. These are the replacement of the candy, I guess, that you find laying around here. Uh, so that's interesting. Ooh, some more nails. That's ammo. I need to keep an eye out for lanterns. I've been so used to not finding those anywhere that I'm not looking for them. So if I've missed, if I've missed some, y'all let me know in the comments. Because, you know, by the time I y'all see this. What are you? Snope? Removes ghastly stink level 2. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so when our stank gets up too high, we got a little bit of soap. We can cleanse ourselves with it. Nice. And you are a urinal cake. That helps. Ooh, level two stank as well. Nice. Okay, so apparently you can bathe with a urinal cake. That's gross, but at least it gives us another reason to search the toilets. Oh, you can search the urinals too. And another urinal cake. Fantastic. This mod just keeps on giving, man. Just keep on keeping on. I hear somebody outside, but they can just wait. All right, main loot area over here, and I'm certain... Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Some toilet paper. Actual toilet paper. Okay, nobody spawned in beside us. There's Lois. Trying to set him on fire here. Just get a little bit of extra damage here. Hi. Y'all relax a little bit. I need to put that skill point into uh, Pummel Pete so I can get a little bit better club here. So when I start beating on their faces, I can hit them a little bit harder. We'll worry about getting much higher tiered weapons and stuff as we move along. Hang on. Oh, crap. I got a clown. So far, it looks like the clowns don't really do anything special. I mean, they got their honkers and stuff. And they like to show them off when you hit them. But they don't seem like they have some special ability where, you know, they can squirt you with their bow tie flower and it poisons you or something. Uh-oh. Hey! Don't hit me, man. That's not funny. <laughs> you, you get it? You know. You get it. Nut shot. Well, your nuts don't honka honka. Uh-oh. Hang on. We're out of stamina. Just a second. Nope. There we go. Plus 800 experience. All right, let's see here. Let me, let me, whoop, wrong button. We got one, two skill points to use. Oh, nice. I leveled up. Just got the second one here. Okay, so I'm going to put another one into Pumble Pete. That'd be kind of useful. And another one into uh, here. Now, I should be able to make a new club, level three, right? Yeah, level three. Craft you, scrap you, put you down here. Now we can get our extra bonks on, and we got a little bit extra stamina. It's very early game level stuff. It's all, I mean, I'd love to be able to um, put the points into something probably more useful. That goose is coming after me, man. If I die by that goose, I'm letting you know, I'll let you guys know right now that I've, I've foreseen the future and that goose is going to come over and own me. Take the rocks, I'll leave the corn seeds. Iron's good. Iron's good. Leave the sand. Is he inside? I think he's right on the other side of this wall. The goose? 
Also, <laughs> I honestly thought that goose came in through the ceiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that's way more enjoyable. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Did you like it? Because I did. I sure did. Okay, working stiffs. I need you to give me something good. Something real good would be nice. Um, a high level tool, maybe? Like a better axe? Something like that would be useful. How about that? Besides that fucking goose? A plastic hammer. A plastic freaking hammer. A little bit of forged steel, some more blocks is good. I'll leave the gore behind. I think I have some over at my temporary holding place that I'm calling home at the moment. Oh, good lord. Uh, okay, so I'll be real curious as to what a uh, forged gore does. I have no idea what that could possibly do. Okay, something good. Something real good. Nice. more uh, Beaker, some concrete, another piece? plastic hammer. Is this one better than the one I have? No, nope, this one sucks. We'll just scrap it down. You get plastic for that. And I'll take the gunpowder just in case. All right, we need to hop up here real quick and see if we can get the one that's on top before we head up to the rooftop. Okay, give me some good. Ooh, books I don't have. Well, I don't have any books. That's good. All conditioning, extreme temperatures, giving you 10% greater hyperthermial resistance. That's good to have. These sewing kits I needed for something. Ooh, a level 2 plastic wrench compared to my level 1. I can scrap you. Put you down there. Some more blocks. And advanced forge command. Oh, really? Magically download instructions to your brain. We're going to how to craft an advanced forge? Really? I got an advanced forge already? Hang on. Advanced, I can't spell, advanced forge. Need a workbench for it. Forge steel, clay, soil, leather, duct tape, and short iron pipes. All reasonably okay stuff to get. Forge steel is hard to get. Would you stop cussing at me, lady? Or goose. That's just, that's a little bit, it's a little bit much. Uh, i have to jump up to get that one. Nice, we got an advanced uh, forge schematic. It'd be a while before we can make one, but it's cool that it gave me one. That's fantastic. This game is so cool. All right. Well, ooh, a DFA's Whacker 4000. Wait a minute. Hold on. No melee damage. Wait, hang on. What, wait, what, a plastic fire axe? Okay, so now you're just kind of trolling me. A little bit of forge. I got two more, three more beakers. Oh, that's one of the things I wanted to show you that I looked up overnight. Okay, so if you don't know this, bacon and eggs, okay? So, right, you can make this on the campfire. You have to have a crucible. You have to have a freaking crucible to make bacon and eggs. If that's not the biggest troll, I don't know what is. And that's, I was like, wait, what? Plastic fire axe? How much do you do compared to this? An actual decent more? I'll take yeah, but I want to see what this does. It doesn't, it looks like it doesn't do any damage, but it swings fast as hell. I mean, can you break anything with this? Wow. That's interesting. Okay, so it only does like one block damage, but wow, look how fast that goes. <laughs> that's, that's comical. Okay, let's see how you do. Wow, you actually swing pretty fast. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. More repair kits, duct tape's good, more beakers. Yeah, this game is absolutely trolling. In every other version of this game, the beaker is one of the biggest pain in the butt things to find that you need for, you know, some of the higher level recipes. And this game is just like throwing them at us here. I need to get that box that's up there. All right, what do we got? Military fiber, look, another beaker. A level four plastic hammer. That's not too bad. Uh, scrap you and take you a flashlight. Uh, that could be kind of good. If nothing else, I could scrap you down and sell you. Okay, so I think that's everything that's in here. Let me double check, make sure I didn't miss any of the higher level stuff before we get up on the roof. Uh, do I have anything I need to repair? What do I need to repair you? Is it a repair kit? Because I've got a chunk of them. No, it's not. Okay, but I can repair you. And I think everything else is okay. I can repair you. I think this just takes plastic. Yeah. It does. That's not too bad. Just to repair with plastic. That's not bad. Okay. Torch it is. Let's hop up top and see what kind of horrible things we can run into on the roof over here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hop up here and... Alright. See Kyle taking a little siesta. See if we can't 
Okay, there's nobody laying down right here. Let's see if we can't wake him up. A little lower. I think I hit him right in the armpit. That didn't hit the armpit. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Bo. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, we gotta go in there next. That's where the secret loot is. Uh, sometimes there's a dog over there. Oh my god! That's not a dog. That's an alligator. A uh, crocodile. <laughs> That's uh Um well, I guess if we die then we will know not to f with these guys. Okay. We missed. Oh, that is a fast thing, man. We've been playing Ark, me and my friends is, you know, I like a uh, playing together kind of game. Works for me. And that kind of reminds me of that. The Sarkos, you know, kind of running around that will eat your lunch and everything else around you. Now the question is, can Crocs climb? And if so, do I have to worry about that stupid thing coming back up here? <laughs> Lieutenant Diane. You got no legs, Lieutenant Diane. I didn't close that hatch over there. There's going to be some zombies up in here. I'm still not keeping an eye out for lanterns. I saw this candle here. Wait, you can just... You can... Oh, that's lovely. You can turn the candle on and off. I mean, what are you? Dobby's Jarred Cheesy E's. Food and health goes up. You know what? Let's go ahead. And let's, let's test our luck here. Okay, we didn't get the Trotsky, so that's good. Um, let me see. Water's a little bit low. I'll go ahead and use you. No chance of dysentery with that. Get a, I'll get a couple of those in me real quick. Some rock candy. Uh, probably not a bat. Well, health is not really that low, and it's kind of going up. Uh, let's see. Do I have any other food that I could eat? Canned sham chowder. 43 on the food. Health up. I probably better save that one. That one's a little bit lower on the food. I could probably do that one. Let's do this. Come on, don't crap yourself. Yeah. Okay, so now you know what the problem is going to be, is that now I have a crocodile hanging down over there, or hanging out over there where I have to get down. I mean, where I can get down. I'm not going down over there. I'll go down the opposite direction. All right, so I think I got everything here. Bookshelf was empty. Let's go down and check out... Oh, we forgot to get this bag in over here, too. See if we got anything good there. Painkillers, not bad. Let me close this real quick so those idiots can't get up. Plop down right in here. Okay, we're good for the moment. We gotta try not to fall in, because there's a crocodile. <laughs> that just sounds stupid saying that. It's funny, though. Hello? Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. How about you go like... That just to uh, just kind of help me out a little bit. Get my arrow before you fall. Oh, down! Holy cow, dude! You almost knocked us both. That works. That works for me too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everybody that I would have to deal with just fell. We got a thing right here, but I don't. Let me see. How many lock picks do I have? I need to scrap you down. Where I have? Where are they? Hang on, am I blind or did I leave them at home? Do I have any lock picks? I do have some somewhere. Let's see if I get lucky. Maybe there's something good in here. <laughs> okay, so level five, loot stage 15, so still low enough where we're getting crap. I mean, we've gotten some good things. I'm not going to complain, but. Oh my god, first try! Did not expect that to work. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. Okay, let's, let's see here. We got paper chest armor. I'm just going to wear you, because that's fantastic. A stack of first aid. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? I'll put you down here. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Working sinks and toilet schematic. I can make working sink and toilet. Oh, that is lovely. Okay. Corn seed recipe. Meh. Steel tools. That's good. Ammo. Bone club. Okay, so that is 13.2. That is 16.5. I'll just scrap you a little bit of ammo. Barrel extender. I don't think I can put that on my pipe machine gun, but we're going to definitely try. Speaking of, I never did put that down. I don't have any ammo to use here. Cripple a mod. Nail gun schematic. 
Cornbread schematic, ammo. What are you? Flare fun. Read the schematic to magically download you. Okay. Unlocks the flare fun ammo. That sounds fun. Nine sewing kits. And what are you? A nuke. 2,500 damage. Look at that. Oh my god, that is a big mama jama. And a barrel extender mod. Okay, let's see what kind of fun we can have here. Let's put you down yeah, right here. I don't need you. Okay, can I put any of the stuff I just got on there? Cripple mod. Okay, barrel extender mod. Increases damage range and accuracy. Chance to cripple a leg on a bipedal target. I don't know which one would be better. Probably this one for now. And I'll make it pink. Just because I can. And I have a little bit of ammo for it, so let's get you reloaded. 32 whole round. Oh my god! What are you doing? No, 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 no. Cancel the reload. Sylvia? What the hell? You didn't drop in. You just spawned in. Bad. Bad Sylvia. Bad Sylvia. <laughs> okay, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. Now I'm a little bit nervous to drop down in here, because that door is definitely probably not there. Definitely probably not. That's a word. Okay, just Mr. Bone. When she's in the mood, she grooves for Mr. Bone. Anybody know that song? It's an oldie. Ooh, a jacket. It's not really cold. It's not cold right here. So take what I'll hang on to, but I don't think I necessarily need you. And we're a little bit on the chonky side of things. All right, let's bust in here, see if we get anything good. I would say this was a worthy trip to come over here. And... Might as well. Doesn't really use, like, any stamina. It takes no time to use to get through this way. That's freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, look at that. Two more beakers. Is that a hoe? Oh, no, it's a plastic pickaxe. More of those. More gore blocks. I'm I know eventually it's probably going to be one of those that I wish I had used. Or I wish I brought that with me. That's okay. That is okay. So you're locked. You're locked. Uh, isn't there a key or something to open it up here to get inside? Can I just... Where's that crocodile at? We need to find a place to call home. I mean, I know... That's not what I wanted to use. Uh, hang on. Where's my pickaxe? Uh, tell you what. I don't need the torch with me right at the moment. I need to reorganize this. You know, that's not terrible for being plastic. Please don't let that crocodile be here. Hello? <laughs> I'm a little nervous. We got some decent damage on that sneak shot from him, but... Uh, ooh, what a burger. That could make it... Oh, there's the crocodile right there. He's doing his own thing, so we're not going to bother him. We're, we're not, we're not going to bother him. I don't want to just keep putting up residence at the, the trader dude over here. Which I do need to run back over and get the rest of my 762 ammo since I have a chunk of it now and I can use this machine gun. I'm gonna kill that stupid cat. <laughs> just because. Alright, let's see if we can run over here and grab some stuff. Nothing else I can always just drop it off. And you know, the stuff I don't have to have temporarily. So we can get in uh you can move a little bit faster. I can do some more looting. Somebody left the gate wide open. Wasn't me. Hey, what's up, dude? Alright, I need you to buy some things here. And with you as well, sir. Okay, well, let me go drop off a bunch of stuff in here. This is going to be mostly full. Let's see, what can I put in here? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so I'll keep you... Uh, you I'll put in there. This I'll hang on to. Toilet paper clears dysentery. I had to look that up. Our nine freaking beakers. Where's our 762 ammo? That'll work out well. Uh, nothing in there that I have to have just yet. The pipes is not bad because I can use that to repair this, I think. It's not damaged yet, so I can't... Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Where did I just put you? Stupid. Stop clicking things, Cap. Okay. Um, that's still a decent chunk of stuff in my inventory, but it's at least something to start with. Okay. We need... Like I said, need, ooh, there's a little thing over here. <laughs> I like... It's like, ooh, squirrel. Ooh, squirrel. You know, it's, I feel like I've got the whole ADD thing going on over here, but I saw... I didn't see that, apparently. Stupid. Sylvia? What's up, girl? 
your sister over there about caused a mild heart attack when she just appeared in the attic or in the uh, suspended ceiling thing. What do we have up here? Somebody else's sleeping bag and an ammo pile. 762! 762! Give me 762! Iron arrows. That's... Eh... That's... Eh, uh -uh. Let's not do that. Okay, we... Uh, I need to really... Focus on trying to find a home. We could try and make the Whataburger home. You know, if you're from the area of the South, Texas, you know, Whataburger here is pretty much like a religion. We do thoroughly enjoy it. It doesn't take too long to clear it out. Uh, we can, there's an exit point on the back of the roof that we need, that we could get in and out of if we needed to. Oh, hang on. There's a Bambalance over here. I wanted to go check it. Make sure we're clear for a second, just in case there's any good first aid. Again, that stack of band aids down there is nice. What are you? Makes your guns useless, but your melee game is strong. Fun. And some aloe cream. Not bad. I'm hearing some weird growls. Is that gator getting close? Bullet tips, glue, and iron. I'll take that. I hear some growls. I, he I hear... Tom? Do you, do you hear that, man? What is that sound and where is it? <laughs> Am I in danger? Glenn, do you know what's growling at me, man? I can't figure out where it's at. It sounds like it's coming from every direction. Nah, I don't need either one of those. Okay, let's check this duffel bag real quick. We definitely keep getting distracted. There's no, I'm not even going to act like I'm not keeping getting distracted. With all the different new animals we have in this game, I have no idea what could possibly be making that noise. Uh, is that a tiny little zombie? Hang on. That looks like a little bitty... Little bitty zombie. I'm afraid of that. If that's a little bitty zombie, that means it's been modified. That thing probably explodes or something not fun like that. Oh, that's interesting. You loot the dumpster and the whole thing just disappears. Kyle, can you just mind your business, sir? I'm trying to... Trying to create a home here. All right, let's get a sneak shot on you. What? There we go. I was about to say, I know that first shot hit him. Do you have my arrow? Thank you. Nice shot for the win. Okay, let's see. If we can get it in here, we should be able to clear this place out today. Uh, I don't need any of that. Should be able to clear all this out today. We can kind of turn this into our home. More pipes. Oh, good. We're about to be moist again. All right. Well, let's uh, take care of the group that just showed up. Lois is very excited to see us. We're moist. Run the lady bits. Yep. Yep. Uh, do I have the ups? I don't have the ups. It's okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Put you up. No, no, and no. There we go. Okay, let's keep on keeping on. Oh my god, is that another... Oh, it's a rage cock. Oh my god. Bad cock! I'm gonna beat this cock to death. <laughs> god, you, you gotta stop me, guys. You can't let me just keep saying stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to, but... Okay, that's not really doing anything. And that knife I have apparently doesn't really do anything either. But, got a little bit of XP, a little bit of feathers. You know what, just in case. Let me go ahead and repair you. We've been working on the bonks. We gotta keep the bonk game strong here. Something good in the cooler. Water? Eh, you know what, I'll go ahead and just use you. You're free water, might as well. A short school bus. Maybe a helmet is in here, because that's just insulting, right? A tire and a sewing kit. Alright, so... Let's go in through the back door. We got a clown. Wait, there's not a back door this time. Wait, hold on. I think there's never a back door that's there. Um, I think you, you can make a door there yourself. Actually, I think there might be a hatch there is what it is. Yeah, level six, baby. There's. I thought there was usually like a way to get in right there. Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I'm not entirely stupid, only just partially. Forgive me. 
Good to go. All right, let's get inside. This should drop us off in the banyo. Yep, there's the banyo. Anybody dropping a duke in there? Let's go ahead and destroy the toilet. Man, this is this is the fun mod. I have to say, this is a really fun mod. It's it's changed enough about the game to keep it spicy, but not enough to where it's completely unfamiliar. It's dark. I know. We're gonna shoot her right. We have to. Oh man, Marlene just took one right in the culo, and she doesn't know what happened. What does that say? A mound of garbage. Scrap you, scrap you, and scrap you. Hey, you. Can I have my arrow back? I, it's been in your naughty bits. Where's my torch? Did I bring that with me? Hang on. Let's put you right there for now. It sounds like there's a lot going on. Kyle? You're on fire, man. Yeah, it definitely sounds like there's a lot going on outside. Okay, so you don't open. You don't open. Let me bust the torch out here so you guys can see what's going on. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What in the hell is Lieutenant Dan doing up there? Spoopy Steve. Dude, it's a, it's a ghost. What is... Okay, do we have ourselves a wandering horde? Okay, it's Glenn. We got Lois. There seems like there's a whole lot more noise than just the two of you. Seriously, is that all it is? Just the two of you? I'm trying to make this lovely Whataburger my home. Can you relax just a little bit? There we go. Now we need to get back on top. We're out of stamina. Okay, I think I hear somebody else wandering around over there, but I'm not too worried about it. Well, I should be worried about it, but I'm kind of not. What are you? Jasper the Friendly Undead. What? What? Jasper the Friendly Undead. I don't... <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to think about that. He's like a small dude. Are you really that friendly? Oh, he went all wobbly. Okay, well, you can keep your wobbly self over there, I guess. Okay, you're all right. So let's finish searching this little area out here. In the kitchens, that way I'm assuming there's probably going to be some more idiots in there. But, tis what it is. The cloth. Okay. That's just comical. It really is kind of comical. Some free wood. Let's see if Glenn left anything on his cart. Not really. Empty jar. Ooh, hang on. No, it's not the way I wanted to click. Feathers. There we go. Yeah, so we could probably make this home. A peachy pop. That helps out with water. Sure, I'll take it. I could use some free food. Poo tea. And, all right, well. I guess I can't complain. It is something. What do we have in the old trash? Some rocks. Well, I'll probably need that for a campfire anyway, so I might as well go ahead and take that. Registers have already been looted. I've heard of skeletons in the closet, but that's ridiculous. Back up, Sid. Getting squishy bits all over my new house here. And this is the manager's office where all the main loot is. So we can definitely get inside here and hang out for the night. Just about the right amount of time left over for the day to enclose you just in case. Nice. Get some more stuff here. We'll go ahead and finish looting this. And then we can start putting down some storage. Dropping some stuff off and we'll make this home. Nice. Got a drive through window here. The school bus is blocking that so nothing can get inside. <laughs> he says with utmost confidence. Right. Nothing can get inside. Do you still cause the craps? Yep, you sure do. Well, I have a tube sock, but I think I left that over at the other place. Wait, where are you? Ammo pot. 762. 
or arrows. I think I got more arrows last time I asked for 762. So this game is definitely like, oh, you want 762 ammo? Meh. We don't do that here. And ooh, a freaking crucible. Oh, why do I feel like this isn't such a a win? And a plastic knife. Hang on, what do you do melee damage here? Two and 2.7. A plastic knife. I'm taking the crucible because we need that in the campfire to be able to make uh, bacon and eggs, which all my stuff is over at the trader's place over there. That's just... What is on fire? Hang on. Is there a fire barrel out there? Did I pass that earlier? Maybe. I don't even remember now, but I can hear something burning is the reason why I asked. More plastic. Get the trash up here. What the hell is this thing? A pet rock. Left click to throw it. Another fine risk of product. And more gore and some... I might as well, since I'm going to be making some stuff to hide things anyway here. A pet... We got a pet rock, y'all. We got a freaking pet rock. That's fantastic. Uh, Can I put you... Just stay right there for a second so we can see what we're doing while I'm looting. Paper. Ammo 762. Explosive nails. Ooh, that would go good for the old handgun. Cool. Plastic arrows, a rusty, a level six rusty iron spear compared to the one we have. That's way better. What are you, premium dog food? A helmet light mod. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. And what are you, ice ammo? <laughs> what? Dude, we got ice ammo. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry, I'm a little bit giddy. My bad. No, I'm not. I'm not apologizing for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm giddy. If you don't like it. Well, you're the wrong channel. So I could make this room back here kind of my... Uh, I don't know. I could make it my base. Poteros. Uh, golden rod and can of dog food. I'll scrap you. I've got way too much stuff on me here. Okay, so what did I, what was I just getting? Hang on, let me get you, modify, put you in here. There we go. Boom. Now... Haha, -ha, we don't need our torch in there anymore. We just leave you in here for now. That's freaking awesome. So we need to do some breaking down of some stuff so we can put some storage boxes in here. And this will be our temporary home. Our temporary new temporary home. How about how about we'll call it that? <laughs> Good lord. I guess we can test out and see how well our plastic wrench does. Let's see how it well works out here. Again, that's not too bad for being a plastic. I mean, it's kind of a toy, but it's not horrible. <laughs> we need to get some more lanterns. Good lord. Okay, this this game is just silly, but I, oh, nice. We got a light source in here. That's I'm 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 sold on this game here. So I guess what I'm gonna do is break some stuff down. Maybe reinforce the kitchen a little bit. And I can kind of use it for some storage too. But I think this is probably a pretty good place to wrap this one up. But I hope, I really hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'm having a blast with it. We'll keep it going as long as you guys are having fun with it. Like I said, we're, I'm planning on doing as a mini-series. Um, I don't know how far we'll get into it. Uh, but it kind of just depends on you guys. If you really like it, leave likes on the video and watch it all the way through and comment and stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just pick up here on day three. So thank you guys so much for all your time. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.